Okay, so this is part two of my book series, I guess you'd call it. Um, I'm going to do books that I've started reading but I never finished for some reason, and then the book that I am reading right now. My first book is one that I started reading, and it's called The Last Lecture. Um, see? Oh, it's upside down, I think. Um, see? Oh, now it's upside down. Really? There we go. Um, yeah. So, the last lecture is about this guy, and he's a teacher, a professor, technically. And he gets pancreatic cancer, and it's basically about him doing this last lecture, the very last lecture of his life, and him and his family are trying to deal with pancreatic cancer. Um, I don't know why I started and never finished it to be quite honest. Like, it's not a big book. Um, I think I just might have never gotten into it really, but I'm definitely going to try to finish it, and I'll put a full review up when I do finish it. So, yeah. Um, the next one is Getting the Pretty Back. It's by Mallory Ringwald. Um, she was part of the Breakfast Club. And for people who are like my age or younger that might not know what the Breakfast Club is, um, she is Amy and Ashley's mom on My Secret or The Secret Life of the American Teenager. Um, I don't really know what this book's about. Um, I think it's more of like a self-help book on how to be like comfortable with yourself and stuff. Um, I kind of picked it up just because it was Molly Ringwall and I love Molly Ringwall. Um, the reason that I never got to finish it is because I gave it to my mom to read. And then when I got it back from her, she, um, or when I got it back, um, I had a different book that I was reading. So yeah. Um... Yeah. And then my last book for books that I've started reading and never finished, it's called The Five Families, and it's about the mob, and the reason I've never finished it is because it's a really big book, obviously, as you can see, it's really, really thick, and it's a really, really, really hard read for me because of the fact that I'm dyslexic and it's just a really hard read for me. Um, it's one of those books where I have to read really small amounts at each time and that it gets to the point where I'm reading so little of it that I just completely lose what's going on in the book and I have to start over. I've tried to read this book like about five times, I think. Um, yeah, these are going to be really short videos, which I probably should have just done a wall in one, but oh well, I thought it would be fun. So I have three different videos, um, but I definitely think my goal this summer is going to be to try to get through this book, which probably won't happen, but I can try. So those are my three books that like I've started reading, but I just put them down, and then I really, really want to finish them. And then right now, which it's also in my what's in my um bag video, I'm reading the Annie Rack. Any, the Anorexia Diaries. And this is about a mom and a daughter. And it's a true story. So it was Loose Girl, which is in um, my first my first video, Books I Love. Also, The Five Families is um, it's based on true facts about the mob. And then the last lecture is also a true story. But, anyways, um, this is a true story. It's about a mom and a daughter and it's their diaries. <sighs> but it's their diaries and um it's basically about how they individually dealt with the fact that their daughter had that the daughter has anorex inner inner anorexia, I can't say that word for some reason today. Um how they dealt with the fact of her daughter having it, um it follows them the before when it's just like the daughter holding the secret in the treatment and then the after and how it affects their family and their lives and just everything. Um, I thought it would be really interesting. I'm, I've never had a problem with anore anorexia or bulimia, but I picked it up in the psychology section, the self-help section, or 
I don't know. Psychology and addiction, I think it was. Um, so I picked it up and I just it looked really interesting. <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning. But I picked it up, it looked really interesting. Um I read really weird books like this. So yeah, I will definitely, as soon as I finish this, I will do a review on it, like a full review, and put it up so that way you guys can know what you think about it, because it's like, it's a hardcover book, and I don't like buying hardcover books, because they're really expensive, and then, if you don't like them, you're like, out money, and that's not cool. So, I would rather, like, hear a review, although reviews don't always do it justice, because I remember I bought, um... I forget what book it is, but I bought a book in high school, and this girl, one of my friends, was raving about this book, and she absolutely loved the book, and it was only in hardcover. So I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to buy it. And I didn't end up liking it. Like, I really didn't like it. So I was, like, really upset about that, because it was, like, a $15 book. But, um, yeah, I'll definitely let you guys know what I think about this book. Okay. Um, the last video I'm going to do, which is next, is three books that I'm going to read after I get done with Anorexia Diaries, and that I picked up when I went to the bookstore before I left Sandusky, because I went to the bookstore right before I left Sandusky, um, well, not right before, but a few days before I quit. I wasn't planning on quitting. It's a spur of the moment thing that I did, um, but, yeah, I'll definitely, um, yeah, I just lost my train of thought and now I'm rambling. So, okay, bye. I'll see you guys in my next